Guys, thanks for tuning into our podcast. If you do enjoy this, please make sure you share it with a mate. It's not that much uh, that we're asking. We really appreciate it. Uh, but yeah, just keep listening and hope you enjoy the banter that we've been having. If you were an item of clothing, what would you be and why? Probably going to go fingerless gloves. They'll get me to lay some pipe. Pleasure or business. Yeah, pleasure or business. Yeah, uh, it was definitely pleasure. But yeah, it's been a tough Monday. <laughs> I went to bed for 16 years, so... Yeah. Fuck. Fifth, right. fourteen. Turkey people, fucking grow up. Turkey people, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> gobble, turkeys, gobble. turkeys. I'm coming for you. Turkeys, the turkeys, oh, grow up. G'day guys, welcome back to On The Piss with Klutz and Das, and today we've got the man, the myth, the legend, the sexiest man from out west, Dan from Dolby. How are you? Good, thanks boys. Good to be here. Yeah, good to have you, mate. Mm. Looking fucking good. Feeling good? Yeah. Tell you what, uh, got, got my ears lowered the other day, so... Nice one. <laughs> yeah. Just for us, thanks, mate. Appreciate yeah. it, yeah. Um, coming live from the Caxton like every other weekend. Yeah, tell geez, you what, we got that in early. It's, Boom, it's, there it's, she is. It's uh, Monday after Origin on Sunday, and um, Caxton Street's definitely not the same tonight as it was last night. Feels like we're at a wake. Yeah, <laughs> we, fucking, uh, we pretty much are too. Uh, yeah, the Queensland's in morning. I'd just like to call out, um, I've got a bone to pick with Anastasia Palaszczuk. This could have been avoided. Just fucking call the game off last night, you know? Well, and give us time to recuperate. And give get, us time to get Reese Walsh back at least. Yeah. I don't know. Is she just, in bed with Freddie Fittler? Yeah, well, I think she she's in be. bed with Gladys. Gladys. <laughs> I think her and Gladys. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I don't know. Is, We're in a progressive <laughs> society and I can just fucking it's, see that it's happening. A, is this a theory or a fantasy that you've oh, had? I don't know. I've been having a series since about 7.30, 8 o'clock this morning in our group chat. So uh, <laughs> right. I just kept spitting things. I just, oh, I don't know, man. I don't know. Gladys and Anna, I can see it happening. Right, eh? Mm. Yeah, yeah. Please, please respond to Gladys and Anna. Let us know if there's any truth yeah, to the um, matter. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, anyway, yeah. <laughs> Kasten was yeah. absolutely pumping yesterday. I couldn't even get in. That's good to say. I, yeah. I had a good laugh at. Uh, I know Das would have. Did you see Bloke in a Bar last night? Yeah. America, where they put up all the boys at the Caxton beforehand cheering RBT. They, they had the, RBT on, on the, the big RBT, screen. Yeah, they put oh. the RBT on the big screen. And then oh, I was just yeah, like yeah, rolling. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Some chick tested awesome. positive for drugs. <laughs> so you know how the guy's like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was all. Oh, just positive in the whole crowd. I was like, yeah. Oh, it looked insane. It's <laughs> really. Yeah. I, I honestly can't believe we lost the game last night. Like I, I just being I was and I was at the LA and then walked down the street and went into the stadium. Obviously, <clears throat> it's the best place to go if you're watching the footy is the stadium. Um, yeah, that's true. Yeah, Very well said. Um, and when I sat down, I was like, "Fuck, there's no way we lose this game." Like the atmosphere was insane. Electric. That I've, first hit. Yeah, I've been to Ooh. I've been to mm. a few Origin games before, but not for years. And I just forgot how crazy it is. I was like, far out. Like, we literally can't lose this. I'd say it's the best sporting viewing. Besides yeah, 100%. Besides Friday night six. I don't actually... I, unpopular opinion here. Mm-hmm. I don't... It's good, but I don't back watching the footy live all the time. Like, it's yeah, good no, to go to a game that. and get yeah. the atmosphere and stuff. But, like, it's actually so much better to watch it on TV in terms of actually watching the game. How much yeah. do you miss, <laughs> even though you're there? Like, yeah, you exactly. You yourself yeah. watching it on the big screen. Yeah, yeah. Right. people are talking about it today, like, at work. And I was like, fuck, I don't even know what you're talking about. And I was at the game. Like, yeah. Yeah. Um, but it's different for Origin because the atmosphere is just, like, yeah, a whole other level. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's fucking awesome. And um, I think I found the root of all of the problems with Queensland State of Origin. Okay. They don't serve forex at the Cauldron. Oh yeah, only Did you know this? only Great Northerns and uh, Four Pines. <sighs> Fuck that. Yeah. yeah. Well, as soon as I um, I'm anti Great Northern. Also, <laughs> yeah. it was also thirty nine dollars <laughs> eighty. Where's forex on? Yeah, thirty nine dollars eighty for four Super Crisps last night. And you know, what <sighs> I had, had an argument with the bloke because you know when you buy a tray, yeah, how they mark it, yeah. So that you have to pay for it, right? You yeah. pay a dollar and they mark it. So when you bring it back, they know you've paid for it. Mm. And I said to this bloke, I said, what's the point of marking it? He's like, well, so we know you paid for it. I was like, what, you think I'm just going to walk in here and steal a $1 tray and then come back and reuse it? And then I went back with my tray and he tried to charge me. He put it on. I was like, mate, you fuck. We just had this conversation. You fucking marked it last time. Oh, so I was like, oh, sorry, I'll take it off. Yeah, it's only a dollar, but I was like, fuck you. Yeah, yeah. but still, it's oh, ridiculous. ridiculous. I, I always hate that. Like, just uh, grow up. Yeah. You're making enough money off the beers. It's- oh. 
It's watered down piss as it I is. Had to work today, and Fuck. Eden, the bloke I was with, didn't, and he was just ready to go. He, was, he got the last round, came back with a tray of rums instead of a tray of beers. I was just like, oh my. God. He was trying to send a message, but um, what's what's tray of rums? Man? Oh, forty. I hate to think, yeah, forty five bucks. <laughs> or at the game? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh no. Yeah. Well, beers were forty, so four beers were forty bucks. So Fuck. rums would have been more. I had a guess. Yeah, fucking hell, that's ridiculous. I don't know. And I just, I, I left with probably two minutes to go in the game, and I was just like, I'm getting straight on the first train and going home. There's like, yeah, fuck. What is, what's an extra three beers going to do to me at the casting set? Made me more sad tomorrow. That's very fair. So yeah, I, I, just, I left about two minutes to go. Yeah. yeah. Beat the rush. Caught the bus from yeah. just up the road from Darling and Co. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, they didn't stop <laughs> at the top oh. of Prince Street. <laughs> <laughs> we almost ended up in the fucking gap. <laughs> Did you and forget to press the button or you no, did not stop? <laughs> it just kept going. Oh, fuck. So instead of like probably just walking from here to where the miso lives, yeah. I ended up walking further <laughs> from that bus stop than I did from what Suncorp <laughs> did. <laughs> <laughs> what time did you get home? Oh, fucking pretty late. Fuck, yeah. that yeah. And I left with 10 minutes to go, so... <laughs> That's Brisbane yeah, public transport, though, eh? Hey? Oh, I love when... Oh. I used to have all these experiences, like, uh, when I used to catch the bus into the city, and you'd see people pushing the pushing the store. Actually, coming home from the city, it was better because, like, there's just so many people, there's yep. so much noise, and the bus driver's just fucking tunnel vision, tunnel vision on that road. People are pressing it, you know, uh, stop, stop. And he's just gone straight, <laughs> straight past. And then he'll just be like, oh, yep, sorry. And just stop in the middle of the road. And everyone has to stop. And he's like, oh, sorry about that. Like, All the best is when that, they just take a complete wrong turn. And everyone's like, where the fuck are you going? <laughs> yeah. like, oh. It's like, you literally drive the same fucking route. Yeah. It tells you where to go. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, well. Dis- disregard the uh, result last night. Mm. How good is that pregame oh. and the walk? Yeah. Just down yeah. It's unbelievable. The flow doesn't stop, eh? Nah. nah. I don't think... I you think get it, caught in it walking out across the road at LA Bar. Yeah. You'll end up... Yeah. Almost in the front gate, <laughs> yeah, eh? Yeah, yeah. You can't get out. I, um, you can't escape it. <laughs> I don't think I've been to an Origin game since I was 18. Like, I think the last one I went to, I couldn't drink there. So, it was like my first time having a beer up the road and then walking down and yeah. going out. Unreal. Like... Going past that guy beating the drum. Yeah. But oh, yeah, every day. Yeah, it's so funny. Fuck. I was going to a, make a killing. I was going way. to a Broncos Rabbitohs game mm. and old mate's dulled up in his Rabbitohs gear. Anyway, next man, and I've got my Broncos footy shorts on and this is only a couple months ago. Mm. Anyway, and then he's like, oh, yeah, go the rabbits. And I was like, fuck yeah. Up <laughs> the rabbitohs. And he's like, and old mate, like, he's pretty rough looking and he goes he's like you're wearing Bronco shorts you dickhead <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, oh that's uh, classic I just random and long story but Paddy Nicholson um he's from Charleville bloke. great mm. bloke he's mm. from Charleville and sex icon of Brisbane his, his mm. brother second best looking man from the west yeah mm, second best <laughs> sorry Pat by a big margin as well <laughs> <laughs> first second and then daylight yeah. <laughs> um, uh, yeah so his brother apparently grew up playing footy with Kurt Capewell and I was at a party with his dad on Saturday night and I was like he was going to the game I was like fuck I don't have a jersey I was trying to get a jersey today and they're 160 bucks he's like oh I've got one of Kurt's shirts I'll give to you oh you weren't taking the piss with that no 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 so he rocked up to the LA with Kurt Catewell signed um, training shirt I I put it on I was like fuck this thing stinks like he hasn't even washed it and then I realised he'd signed it so they hadn't and he's like oh because in my head I was like I'm nag- like taking this home for sure and not yeah. ever giving it back to him he's like oh, I want to get it off you because they're going to auction it off out in Charvel after I was like oh fair enough and then yeah, I realised it had good the reason. yeah I realised it had the signature on I was like oh that's why it hasn't been washed because it stinks like shit and then as I was leaving um, the LA I ran into some Padre boys who I knew like Jordan yeah. Walcott and all those yeah. Sam Fall and stuff and I was like, said hello to him. They're like, fuck, what shirt's that? I was like, oh, this is fucking Kurt Catewell's worn training jersey. And mm. he, they're like, bullshit. I was like, smell, it smells like shit. Go to this. And Jordan Walker's so funny. He's blind. He goes, ah, oh, smells like Miss Tackles, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, oh, oh I know yeah. that smell. Yeah. Too. Yeah. Oh, fuck. You can't, yeah, I know that smell well. Uh, so well. You can't hate on that bloke, though. Like, well, I think he's been stitched Catewell. up playing center. Oh, he's yeah. Second and that Mark is fucking Turbo. Tom Tavorovich, yeah. Yeah, it sucks. But Best player has, on the comp. Hasn't done a terrible job, I'd say. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. What do you get when you put a second row in the centers? Exactly. Mark is the probably best player the best in the comp. In the world, I'd say. Yeah, yeah. 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 A bit like chucking me in the centers. Yeah. 
marking Paddy. <laughs> just a little bit quicker. Well, Cape World can't <laughs> run over thirty k. No, he can't. He can't. <laughs> That's the first. Actually, problem. someone brought up in the uh, someone brought up in our group chat the other day when Reese Walsh was still in the game. They're like, our fullbacks' top speed is twenty nine point nine k's per hour. <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong, but Klutz has been clocked at 30, <laughs> beating a car. Therefore, he could play fullback. <laughs> like, yeah, probably. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, well, maybe one day. How's your weekend, Josh? Um, I honestly, I don't even know what I did Friday. Um, so that's a good start. Saturday. Oh fuck! Yeah, that was cooked. Well. Oh, Snooze and I and a couple other sixth grade boys went to um, play off the bench for fifth grade and it was just a fucking shit show. It was a really shit game. We, um, I think we came on and it was like 37 nil or something. And it ended cheers, up, coach. Yeah, yeah, cheers, boys. Um, <laughs> put me on if you need some fucking ticker injection because there was... Uh. Yeah, there wasn't much out there. It was a bit shit to watch. It was it was a bit of a, a sad day for the old fifth grade Jeeps. Um, bit but, of vocal friendly fire from Josh Clutterman. Yeah, fuck me. I was an <laughs> angry boy. Coming off the bench and what, just giving spray. him a spray? <laughs> I, was actually, I was actually water boy for the first oh, half. No. And he scored two tries so quickly. And then oh, one of the boys is out there giving a speech. And the coach is just like, as I'm running on... He hates when I give people a spray because he's just like, oh, like, come on, man. Just relax like, a bit. Just relax a bit. And he's like, rip it. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yeah, right, like, Brendan. <laughs> and I came back and I was like, I fucking sprayed him. He's like, thanks. Thank <laughs> I was like, yeah, good. Uh, I was like, Don't do your fucking breathing exercises. Just show some fucking heart. <laughs> it's the captain's go. last game. One of the boys, big um. Chris, I got a Polish last name, is moving to uh, the Gold Coast. I can't pronounce it. I just call him Hector Chris. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep. It's like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's fucked. So I just call him Hector Chris. Yeah. It was his last game and the boys just didn't show up for him. So I was pretty upset for him. Yeah. But um, yeah, fuck. I've, I did a lot of hit-ups. That was good. Yeah, is that what I you were was... talking about before when you said you nearly cried at the end of the Literally, game? Literally, at the end of the game, like my <laughs> arms were all fucked. Everything was just fucked. I, um, I tackled a bike off the kickoff and um, once well, off one of the many tries they scored. Um, and I don't know, my head hit something and it was just fucking massive headache, eyes uh, watering. And I was just like, I'm fucking there clutching my head like, fuck, this hurts so much. Like I've got a throbbing headache from this. So like, get up, come on, do something. Get I was up, like, you weak. What? the rest of you fucking do something i was i was filthy i I wasn't a big fan of that but um yeah no i was i was literally in the huddle after the game like i was just like oh just like this oh no i don't think so i I can remember the game play by play yeah Um, yeah but uh yeah then afterwards i did fuck all on saturday and then i went to the markets on sunday nice again to the most markets, scat, the Rockley, oh, yeah. the Rockley Scat Market. Saturday is their fresh food. Sunday, boom, baby, let's bring out your dodgy electronics, your fucking right. live animals and everything. Really? Oh yeah. What did you get? Did you buy anything? I didn't. He's buy got anything, a mackerel or bird at home. <laughs> <laughs> I saw well because Caitlin's just got the fish tank, but she's oh well, she's meant to be going to Melbourne on Thursday, but fucking good luck with that one, love. Yeah. Um, yeah, so she didn't want to get fish before she left. And there's like, you know, when you go to like a, a pet store and say like a goldfish, it looks pretty crowded if they've got like 10 goldfish in a tank. Yeah. They have like fucking 30 in this <laughs> same size little tank and they're all like fighting over each other. And I was like, oh, like, <laughs> wonder what person's running this. Yeah. This is, this is a little bit, we're getting a bit of a Wuhan vibe here. Yeah, I, don't yeah, like, yeah. I don't like the live animal market here. Yeah. There's like birds and shit in the background as well. And I was Wait, like, is oh. this, at the, this is at the market, This right? is at the market. Oh, so yeah. I thought you were talking about an aquarium. Yeah, no, <clears throat> I did go to a few aquariums on Saturday and... As you do. I discovered that they know Aquarium what a finger Saturday. means. <laughs> exactly. It was, it was fucking, it was loose. But got my finger and I was just fucking doing this in front of the fish and they were just following it. And I was like, yeah, suck shit, you little cunts. Yeah, it was good. And then I don't know. I really didn't, I really didn't do much. Yeah, it was good. It was actually nice. nice to relax a little bit. Yeah. I wonder what that was like. I had a 60th and then woke up and went to the footy, so... I'm feeling absolutely horrible. Yeah, mm. fuck. I could tell you were blind on Saturday. Not from the pierce, from Maroons getting yeah, left. Yeah, I think a bit of both. Mm. 
Nah, um, just the Maroons. I could tell you were pissed on Saturday because you texted me. You're like, do you have Herdy's brother's wedding? And I was like, no, I don't. Like, oh, thank God. I was like, why is it? I'm just wondering. No, no, I like, no. I have no idea where this is coming because from. Because oh, his brother's girlfriend hit me up about it again. And I was just oh. like, holy shit, it better not be tonight. Oh, true. Because I haven't heard from James in like months. And then his girlfriend just sent me a message like, hey, you still look good to do this. And I was like, fuck, is it tonight? Yeah, <laughs> That's why fuck. I messaged you. And you actually being the <laughs> scat one. <laughs> Let me read it out. <laughs> I wasn't even drinking at this point. <laughs> oh, fuck. Here we go. You obviously just so love it. I said, so this is at, yeah, this is at one o'clock in the Arvo. When's Herdy's brother's wedding again? <sighs> Uh, end of September, I think. Fuck, thought it was this weekend or something. Nah, nah, my dude, end of September. I said, thank Christ. And you said, why's that? And I said, I thought it was tonight. <laughs> I just said that. Oh, true. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I'm still trying to not cry. <laughs> From the footy. <laughs> yeah. The footy. Yeah, yeah, I like, was so sick yesterday and then <clears throat> had to show up for Queensland, but they didn't show up for me, so I'm a bit disappointed mm. and now this bloody COVID thing's happening I'm going to be working oh. from home all week I think it's not going to be good back to Dalby yeah fuck when are you back out to Dalby Tuesday mate Tuesday yeah. oh shit tomorrow oh, back. fuck yeah it, it is, is tomorrow <laughs> yeah Jesus fucking hell fuck. you lose track of your days yeah, yeah. You're especially not working. Footy, yeah. Like, late footy game on a Sunday it's good yeah. to see the mayor's returning to Dalby though oh he's got her yeah he's got her yeah. there's fucking a lot of shit to get in order for this weekend what do you got ladies yeah. day this weekend for the yeah, weekend so uh, out in Dalby, you've got the annual ladies day, which will be a, mm. hopefully a pretty big day, but yeah. it's a shame it probably wasn't a couple of weeks earlier, just with yeah. COVID starting to yeah, tee off. Yeah, and fucking nice. But good, like little, good little spot out there. <coughs> yeah, it is the good. The have. Yeah, no, um, but it's normally, yeah, it's, I'd, I'd reckon it'd be between that and Gundy's ladies day, it'd be the mm. two biggest club rugby days and yeah, yeah. rugby on the downs, so... Fuck yeah. Big piss up afterwards. Yeah, yeah I can imagine. Fuck. Like, last time, like, oh, because we didn't have club rugby in Dolby last year, obviously, come yeah. in here and played footy. Yeah. But the last ladies' day we had, I can remember picking up Claudia and Misso about three times off the floor. <laughs> it's just this rum stained <laughs> fucking hardwood timber deck. <laughs> and just, oh, it's just like a bloody snail trail. Oh, the whole fucking thing. <laughs> Home by eight o'clock. That's the best over. That is, um, I, I reckon, drinking, starting early and going home at eight. That's the best. Oh, that's the way to do it. Yeah, yeah. It's a big day. Yeah, Dolby just hits it hard. Like when we went out there for that um that preseason game. How good was Fuck, that? Fuck, was such a good night, and that <laughs> needs to happen all the time. So when you got your shirt yeah, off and got is, kicked out of the this club, this is yeah. the bloke who sent that <laughs> fucking video through. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, that was that funny. Was fucked. I just remember. Like, I think I spoke about it on the podcast after that, but I just remember waking up the next morning and I was like trying to move my arms, and I was like. <laughs> So this much restriction. Shirt. <laughs> like, what the fuck? I'm wearing over this cunt's fucking Dolby Waitman shirt and he's I'm got one of my I'll, BBB. I'm wearing a shirt like a fucking one night stand. <laughs> yeah. so he's got the T down the fucking yeah. halfway down the Walk quads. Shame. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Literally. yeah Still wearing the bed. I'm, yeah, <laughs> nothing else on. <laughs> Hasn't been washed. Oh. Still stinks of me. Reminds, it does. <laughs> reminds him of the oh. one. Fuck, but yeah, funny. fuck, I was so good. Lord. That, that's definitely something that has to happen annually. It was yeah. just, you just like, it's like that first night fever, yeah. you know, when you go somewhere and you just get that first night fever and it's just like, everyone's on the same level. Like, yes, we're fucking going. Yeah. And no one's really like, there for the game of footy. Like the nah. game of footy is just an excuse. But the the to- thing was the footy was fucking, it was actually top level footy. Yeah, out there. Yeah, so yeah. It was real good. Like even, it was, it was even too. Like, yeah, it was so oh, even. That third lifted. grade game was fucked. Yeah. Like, that was good. such a good game against How the How fucking grade. much of a heavier pitch is it out there as opposed to the... Yeah, bro. Fucking, oh, fucking God. oath, bro. Running on the treadmill out there. Yeah, mate. <laughs> I'm always running on the treadmill. Yeah, yeah. 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 So, no, I think I'll do about that. Yeah. <laughs> Same here, recently, uh, actually. I think all the Josh Papali hype has really got to me and my pace might have slowed a little bit. Surely not. I don't know. I don't know. I don't even want to think about running right now. I'm so fragile. Yeah, but yeah. that's all right. It's all right. Well, um, yeah. I said to I messaged Dan earlier today, and I just realised that we got a like he's a new person on the podcast. We haven't yeah. had one for a while, so oh, yeah. um, hit him up for two truths and one lie. Haven't had that for a while. We're we bringing haven't. it back, baby. I completely Let's forgot find, about yeah, that. So um, yes, um, 
Firstly, I'd just like to say it wasn't earlier today. It was oh, yeah. About half an hour before the podcast <laughs> yeah. started. Yeah, it was. That's, what's up, uh, you picking me up? Oh, I'll get you this time. By the way, prepare this. <laughs> and and it's, you're lucky he even remembered and gave you a heads up. And yep. his spelling's all fucked too because yeah. you're driving <laughs> yeah, and you're yeah. like Google Maps on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, <laughs> I don't text and draw <laughs> much. I have written them down because Seriously. my memory is fucked at the moment. <laughs> Someone else wrote them down and still fucked it up. <laughs> yeah, I was telling them about that. <laughs> Thanks, Rory. Right, yeah. uh, okay, my first one is I got locked up the night, the, second, the night before my last day at my previous job. <laughs> I woke up on the day of my last job to my boss knocking on my front door <laughs> and asking for the keys back to the work here. <laughs> Second one, I have locked eyes with Dr. Patel. <laughs> the third one is, I am a qualified butcher. Ooh. Go figure. This is, is, oh, it, is this fuck. Dr. Death? Cause yes. Funny yes, story. Because you know how there's that Dr. Death that's just come out and it's like the American one? Yeah, oh. yeah. So I was just searching before. I was like, pretty sure it was Dr. Death. But then that come up with him and I was like, search Dr. Patel. Yeah, because he had a brother. Dr. Patel, Dr. Death had a brother who was also Dr. Patel. And he was surprise, my doctor surprise. for a bit. Yeah. Oh. He's like legit the brother of Dr. Death. Like, you are fuck? kidding. Yeah, we used to go see him. This is when I was little. Mum taking him there. I'm like, surely we've done not Why is he doctor. checking your seed? And, why is he checking your vision and you got your pants down? <laughs> 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 that ring a bell. Yeah. I'm a big kid. <laughs> oh, fuck. Um, well, what do you reckon the lie is? <sighs> oh, fuck, I don't know. See, I've got my suspicion on mine. I'm, I'm leaning towards the butcher. Yeah, I was butcher or Patel, but he's only locked <laughs> eyes, so I'm going to go butcher as well. Yeah, I'll go, I'll go to the butcher. I couldn't think of anything else. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but yeah, that fucking, my, the first actual true yarn about yeah. the previous job. <clears throat> Yeah, that was so fucked up. <laughs> had a, had had a go on away party and like on left what, on, on real good terms. Night. Left on yeah, 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 yeah. That was. <laughs> so I'd probably try to keep it half time. Yeah, okay, <laughs> anyway, yeah, yeah, yeah. We were fucking at the Bowls Club in Dolby, North Dolby. Mm. God bless. Cold drop there. <laughs> Love it. And um, anyway, yeah, we're there on the piss and triple nip uh, first it was yeah rum and coke thanks and then it's double rum and coke then a triple rum and coke <laughs> 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 and like the, the social tri- club's <laughs> paying for it and so but yeah, yeah no, it. it's still not too badly priced yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Yeah. anyway anyway spastic drunk next minute we're all at the cry like all the first years and second year apprentices are there just like hooking into it mm. the big boss and that had went home by then anyway <laughs> Blacked out. <laughs> Don't remember a thing. Anyway, I've woken up the next day, you know, me fucking going out clothes. Mum's like, Daniel! She's screaming, and I was like, what the fuck's going on? And I've looked out the window, and here's my boss walking up the front steps of the house where, where I used to live with mum and dad. Anyway, he's like, oh, good day, how you going? And he, he was real good, and he's like, oh, I was just going to grab the work you because uh, Sparky. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, anyway, and I was like, and my, anyway, he's left, and I was like, "Oh yeah, I'll, I'll come back and say goodbye proper this yeah, afternoon." Yeah. <laughs> anyway, mum's like, "Do you remember last night?" I was like, "Nah." She's like, "We picked you up from the cop shop <laughs> <laughs> two in the morning." <laughs> I was like, what the fuck happened? She's like, they arrested you for jumping on someone's car bonnet <laughs> out in front of their house. Anyway, I ended up getting done for, um, oh, fuck, trespassing <laughs> and fucking, oh, what's it called? Willful damage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there was had no scat. recollection of it at all. Nothing. <laughs> like, I do black out, but that was from about eight o'clock, gone. Jesus. Gone. So, yeah. Yeah, fuck. I remember seeing the article about it or something. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. an article about so it. So funny. I think Nick Dave so feel dug yeah, that up and so put it in the footy chat. <laughs> yeah, got to say. So, oh, this is, I think shit. I've spoken about it before, but last year during COVID, as Dan said earlier, um, Dolby didn't have a footy team for COVID. So, he drove down and played footy for Jeeps every weekend from Dolby for the, the little half season we had. And one of the boys is just a fucking pest, um, danger. Oh. He's just a oh. fucking shit stirrer. Great bloke. He's um, 
He's in his 30s. He looks a lot older than that because <laughs> yeah. of his bald fucking head. <laughs> but um, he just loves throwing chat. Yeah, he found this article about Dan getting arrested. Jumping on car bottles. Local, local <laughs> rugby star. Yeah, local. Yeah. Oh, just yeah. proper brought our local footy club down. Yeah. Like this fucking shitty paper. Anyway, weeks later, it's gone fully electronic. So there was no hard copy paper yeah, in right. Dolby anymore. Yeah. Like it's proper shut yeah. down. Anyway, that was like their the last one. Second last paper. <laughs> And like, of course, all like yeah. mum and dad's family and friends found out, and because everyone wanted to so save the last yeah, copy and stuff. Yeah. Fuck, anyway. that's so funny. And where did you lock eyes with Doctor Patel? Mate, we come down to uh, going to the Echo one year. Anyway, I forget where the fuck we were. Like, I was probably only ten or something. Anyway, we're sitting. We're in the train, and then we've pulled up. Doors are shut. And it was like, I don't know, it was so weird. And then here he is, he's like got his big coat on and he's holding his briefcase. <laughs> and like my auntie and my mum and I was like, oh, yes. And my brother was like, oh, is that Dr. Patel? And they're like, that is fucked up. And it was like not long after it must have all come out. Oh, oh, shit. Certain it was. Yeah. Sticking with it. I wonder what he's yeah. doing now. Oh, I don't know. Jail. Yeah, probably. <laughs> what would he be doing? Yeah, fuck. I don't 7 Eleven? Yeah. Probably. Maybe a couple of um, some back alley fucking. Yeah. You know, take your organ, maybe give me a couple the, hundred bucks. Yes. Maybe to the Rockley Markets. <laughs> <laughs> fish tank. <laughs> Selling fucking goldfish. <laughs> oh, oh, fuck. fuck. Now, um, as well, another little segment I hit Dan up half an hour before the podcast was um, Suburb of the Week. And we had two options come up. But I'd like to, I'd like to pick the uh, the Gales option. Are we going shit suburb of the week or suburb? As like, in, as in like, yeah. So suburb of the week, we just fucking roast it. Yeah, and good. you've got a good yarn about Gales as to why we should. Where the hate. fuck is Gales? Gales yeah, is good question. Exactly, yeah. mate. That's you why know it's when you fucking when you jump off the cent, you go on the centenary highway, and then you go towards Ipswich. You got. Um, you can take an exit to Rockley. You can take an exit to Wakehole to go towards. Uh, the jail. Yep. And then there's just the highway just goes through. Train Gales. station. Yeah. Golf course right on the... Yeah. There's like, there's literally like six or seven lanes of highway and that... Burp. Excuse me. Sorry, honky. Um, <laughs> and then there's a, uh, there's an overpass that takes you to the Logan Motorway. Yeah, right. And then there's just like a golf course, a footy club, a couple of I fucking... Know, and a whole lot joints. of fucking motorway. And I just, know, I the worst sense of direction and you may as well be speaking... Japanese, right. but anyway, literally have a have a quick Google of Gales just to just to see where it is. I've also noticed that whenever you unlock your phone with your face, Josh, you let it, you have to get it really you know, close. Okay, it's so just, funny. Before we go into Gales, <laughs> yeah. I recently got a new phone and I got the the case where you can um put your little thing over the adapter because yeah. because oh. I'm doing a lot of work in the trenches. Yeah, dust getting a bit stuff. of dirt and shit in there. Yeah, so blue I got collar. That. I'm exactly. aware. Exactly. That's aware. fucking oath, mate. Blue collar looking out for blue collar. Mm. But the problem Have is... Have you joined the union yet or anything? <laughs> nah, not yet, mate. I'm going to start my own. Come on, comrades. <laughs> yeah, my exactly. <laughs> I'll start my own. <laughs> Fuck it, I'll fight for everyone's rights. You're the all BBB. good BBB. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Up with the tradie boys. Um, but yeah, buddy, there's a little bit of scratching and stuff that's happened from dirt getting into my pocket on where the camera thing is. So if I don't wipe it properly... It doesn't recognise my face. Like it's so not rec- funny. There we go. Recognise my face now. But uh, I cop shit from Caitlin all the time because I'll be there and I'll be like, yeah, this. yeah, this is so funny. I've noticed you do it a yeah. lot of times. It's um, yeah. So I'm gonna get a apparently I'm gonna get a weekend <laughs> phone case, um, but I won't be able to get that in Gales because there's probably no fucking electronic yes, stores out back there. Back to Gales. Yeah. So Dan Dan had a bone to pick and also to say how shit it is. Um, yeah. So my brother and I, my brother's just moved down to Brizzy and started a new job. Anyway, he, he was off work last week as well, so we were going around Brizzy playing a fair bit of golf. Anyway, go out to Gales. We look up uh, that morning uh, at the uh, – because you've got to book – you can book online. Mm. makes it a bit easier. Yeah. Turns out it doesn't. <laughs> anyway, and Gales had like all these free tea times yeah. when we were going to be there. Anyway, rocked up. No good. Our mate's like, nah, sorry, we've got nothing until, I don't know, 2 o'clock. And we were there at like fucking 9 in the morning and we're like – and we just saw both of us on our phone like couple this morning. Mm. And he's like, no, nah, no, nah, we've been fully booked for fucking a couple of days. Anyway, I actually knew the golf pro there. 
um, he's from Dalby, and I've actually had golf lessons from him. And I was like, oh, come on, mate, I'm a yeah. member of Dalby. Surely can help yeah. us out a bit. And he's like, nah, it's the best I can do. Um, and also, you're going to have to buy a polo shirt so you can play here. I had a jumper like this on. Yeah. It still had a collar, but yeah. you could see mm. like a t-shirt underneath. underneath. Anyway, fuck him. <laughs> Proper <laughs> off him. So then me and my brother pack up, go to Redcliffe on straight away. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Cheering. Redcliffe, suburb of the week. Suburb yeah, of the week. Yeah. Yeah. We love Redcliffe, yeah. but we fucking Gales, hate Gales. Up the Dolphins. Gales is fucking a poor man. Nice. Give him a rugby league team in the NRL. How Ga- good would that be? I, I agree, off. mate. It'd be awesome. Play game oh. three there. My Play thing game three at Dolphin Stadium. Petro Sivanaceva. <laughs> Put him in the fucking 17. <laughs> He's a red cliff boy. Yeah. Fucking hard. Show a bit of ticker. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Gales, I I know Gales fairly well because whenever I go out to the farm, I've got to drive through it. It's it's another Mount Gravatt. Just go through it. Why do you stop at Gales? You don't. Mm. Um, only if you're desperate. I've yeah, definitely... We'll, we'll, give you, we'll give you a fucking motorway. Yeah. Put it this way. Uh, <laughs> Gales, from memory, uh, it would have been about... Five or six years ago, there was actually a massive drug bust in the McDonald's car park because the police cottoned on to um, drug deals happening in the Macca's car park. I feel like this podcast talks about drug bust way too <laughs> yeah. often. Yeah. <laughs> do not partake in that. Just know a lot about it because I do my research. Yeah. But um, yeah, buddy. Custy's undercover. This whole, yeah. this whole thing's actually, a lie. I'm not a plumber. I'm a cop. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, there's like all these like Couldn't drug bars. fucking wire under there. Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, but they got that. They've got um, they got like so many scat little churches that pop up as well that yeah, have like right. just broken buildings and stuff. <laughs> and, but yeah, it's just it's literally it's it's another Mount Gravatt. Like there's no point to stop there. And as as Dan said, it's all highway. Like it's yeah. literally like it's it's eight lanes of concrete. It's Possibly going off uh, Ben Bennett's last week with his theory about Kedron, I think it could actually be hotter purely because there's that much bitch. Right. Good point. See, I just Googled yeah. it and the very quick Google, the two things that I learned about Gales tonight is there's an E in it. Yeah. Why yes. would there need to be an E in it? Yeah, exactly. So confusing. And the second one was the top rated thing on this website was black reasons to live in Gales was low cost of living. So yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Like, if that's what you've got going for you, yeah. then uh, jeez, <laughs> it's like maybe they re- put that my extra- golf review didn't pop up there either. <laughs> <You> should <laughs> have to do one. Yeah, but, yeah. I'll see if I can Fuck find it. Um, I was gonna say, interesting. You mentioned the E in the name of Gales because. I'm going to assume that if you're listening and you're from Gales, let us know if you have a child with a weird spelling name, a weird <laughs> spelt name, because you know no. those people that they might do like um, like Crystal, but it might be K R Y S T A L E. I reckon that's 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 people from Gales, and that's Gales as a suburb. There's just yeah, it's I don't know the H J is real average. The markers, average. Everything's just average. How many stars did you give it? Oh, Fucking prob- none. Maybe, yeah. We're going to have to go maybe 0.5 if I'm yeah. being generous. I meant for the golf course review, but yeah. Oh. Yeah, that's what we mean. <laughs> There's one here, one star. <laughs> Vegetarian choices are limited. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> they probably tell you to go to the back and eat grass. <laughs> did you leave it on Google or Facebook? Staff oh, are rude and know. sexist. Made a female for not welcome at all. Yeah, that, I think that one was me. <laughs> <laughs> There's actually so many reviews for the Gales Golf Club. What the fuck? Wow. <laughs> like hundreds. Anyway. It's ridiculous. Yeah. But yeah, Gales, we're not a big fan Speaking of, of um, people with weird names, I actually want to ask you, and this is very random, I don't even know if you have an answer, but who's, who is the weirdest person that either follows you on Instagram or who is someone that you know that has someone weird follow them on Instagram? Oh. I actually, like, do you mean like weird names or just oh, no, in just general? <laughs> people, yeah. Um, I get a lot of fucking musicians follow me. Really? Because my Instagram handles is my surname. Yeah. Mm. My uh, I get a lot of because I'm thirsty, Mark. That's my Instagram. Yeah, name. right. <laughs> I get a lot of musicians. <laughs> yeah. Like I've had fucking a um, couple band members from Australian Crawl follow me. <laughs> 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 that's sad. That is hilarious. Yeah, that's awesome. I know. Because I was gonna have a quick the reason story. I ask is because one of the I don't boys want to tell them, I got tagged in 
Because like I'm private. Yeah, Someone yeah. tagged me in their story the other day. And it was like at fucking, I don't know, Sydney Music Theatre. And <laughs> they like, were playing. Great gig. And I was like, <laughs> fuck, I <don't> <laughs> When was this? The reason I asked is because one of the boys texted me out of the blue today, Matt Matto. Yeah. He's like, I don't know if I ever told you this, but Eric Groth follows me on Instagram. <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> That's so scary. So I'm, Maddo is followed by Eric Groth. That's fuck. awesome. I know I've got like, there's definitely someone scat that follows me on here, but I'm not entirely sure. Also, who do because... yourself a favour and have a look at Eric Groth's Instagram. Like, oh, Maddo yeah. tagged me in something before of his. Yeah, and it is was. Is he still doing all that diet? Fucking. Oh, I don't know. This one was like, he's text a bloke saying, "Hey, chuck the TV on and press one four seven then the black key on the remote and watch what happens. My mind is completely blown. And the person said, who is this? He, he then said, sorry, it's me on my mate's phone, but quick, do what I said. Trust me, it's the weirdest thing you'll ever see. And he said, it just went back to the channel it was on in the first place. Who is this? <laughs> I know, <laughs> mental. Amazing that this single press of a button can go straight back to the channel we were on previously. It's Eric. Eric who? I don't know anyone with the name Eric. Why does it matter if, what my last name is if you don't know any Eric's? <laughs> <laughs> what a strange dude um i get followed by i've had a lot of random people follow me recently um but fuck there was there was someone that popped oh the la i don't like being followed by the, the LA. hotel la yeah hotel i was LA. there actually there on um on yesterday before the game it was so funny this random bloke started talking to me we're lining up for the bar because it's a bit of a lineup to get a beer mm. and it was fucking packed yeah oh, well, probably not compared Texting. to here yeah, yeah. Go on. um this random bloke was in front of me and just started talking to me and he was pretty pissed and i was like oh they had those corduroy 4x maroon hats i was like oh, i just want one of those hats so bad he's like i'll get you one i'll get you one and i was like no he's like yeah i'll just steal it off the girls behind the bar not happy i think didn't she must have had her like <laughs> ponytail through the back of it because he just oh. leant over and went like this and it didn't move and she just Put the bit down. Oh. I was like, "What the fuck? Get out!" Like, fuck. He's like, "Oh, sorry, sorry." And he's got kicked out. He's like, "Sorry, mate, I couldn't get you a hat." I was like, "It's okay." Cord- corduroy's in at the moment. Too. Yeah, love the cords. Got- love the yeah. cords. Might have to fair? get a Caxton one on the way oh. out. I reckon. Yes. I was gonna say, I've just found this is a bit scat, but grilled healthy burgers follows me. Yeah, that's random. But that's like I know I used to work there. Yeah. But like they recently started following me. Um, Mount Cravat Bowls Club. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Mount Bowls Club. Good on. That's awesome. Shout out to Mount. They're the sponsor of this week's podcast, actually. And every week. And every week. They've got to be. Um, the NRL Roast. I'm actually proud to be followed by the NRL yeah. Roast. That's awesome because they're a great Instagram page. <laughs> Go and find them. Sushi Edo, actually. That's new, big. Sushi Edo follows me. Like the national page or one of the. Yeah. Like the, actual, the actual page with 962 followers. I would have thought they'd be bigger than that. My favorite thing is. How they, um, you know, they actually, I got a bone to pick with Sushi Edo. They put their price up, they did, and then four dollars twenty stores went bust after four dollars twenty for a plate now. Criminal. I went there the other day for lunch, it's like thirty dollars. What the fuck? Yeah, it's actually ridiculous, but um, criminal. Yeah, actually, we discovered, um, Cooper Sushi, the train that I've been going to recently, they've just upped their price to four dollars per plate, so I won't be going back. No, I don't think I'll be going back. Wouldn't be a cheap lunch Did for you, you mate. <laughs> no, it'd be How like. How many plates would you put away? It's sushi. The most plates I've ever put away was fifteen. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. I was having an eating contest for snooze, and he gave in at fourteen. And I went, "Well, I got to beat you by one." It's and like sixty bucks. I'll be. I'll be perfectly honest. I could have gone more. <laughs> <laughs> I was Fuck. just sitting there, and I was just like. Were they all just chicken mm. and like avocado? No, no. I how yeah, Western were they? <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, that's yeah. Nah. Sweet chili chicken. <laughs> My favourite one from Sushi Edo is this little. Oh, it's this little slutty mix, and it's like you get three um, little rolls, and it's all filled with some sort of seafood, and then. On top, it's one's got tuna, one's got like king crab, and the other's got like salmon or something. Mm. And it's just got to like, be the like, king. Yeah, mm. exactly, mate. Mm. And I just fucking love it. Um, fuck, I'm just trying to find. There's someone really fucking scat that follows we'll figure it me. out one day. What's um What's planned for this weekend? Anything exciting? Um, probably fucking lockdown. Think probably COVID's not. Gonna, yeah, yeah, COVID's gonna fuck us in the old um asshole. <laughs> um, I'm supposed to be going to the races this weekend in Caloundra, but. Oh, not random, but Liam Wright follows me. That's pretty cool. Harry Wilson. There you Shout go. Out to the Cafe Dolby. 
Yeah. Good hot box. They follow me. Yeah. There oh, you go. Fuck yeah. I've put a few paychecks in there. Yeah. yeah fuck yeah. yeah. Hot boxes are so underrated. Mm. Um, That's the first place I reckon. I reckon I've ever had a fresh spring roll. Like it's still the frozen one. Yeah. Like, it just tastes it's, fresh. Oh, yeah. Right. Fuck. Crispy. I'd, I'd advise going there. Yeah. yeah right. Huh? You know how um, Kenilworth Bakery yeah, you yeah. go there for the yeah. weekend? Go to Toby <laughs> Rose. <Rumble. laughs> yeah. Go. Yeah, Give it a right. ride. Yeah, right. I'll see you there this weekend. <laughs> Can we, like we, we should through. go. Next time we go to um, Condamine, we should stop in at Dolby. Yeah, fuck yeah. Usually you stop there for Maccas, but... What do you go out for Condamine for? One of our mates has got a farm out there. Oh, yeah? Yeah, so we just go and get blind. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> awesome. I haven't been out, actually. It's good fun. Yeah. Every time I... Haven't been able to get weekends off, but yeah. that's not a problem anymore. Yeah, it's um, a big drive though for the weekend. It's like yeah. fucking five hours. But this weekend we're actually meant to have that. Um, we got invited to the VIP party for Archive. the celebration of Archive Archive Pub at um at West, West End. End. Yeah, so they were meant to celebrate their ten years I've been last year. Stone and Wood drunk there a few times. Oh yeah. yeah, great place. All they do is crafties, and they've I actually think. done a um birthday beer, a birthday beer with Stone and Wood, and it's a Where hazy pale or something. Jeez. So we got invited to that, um, which kicks off at three o'clock on Saturday. But I'm not sure if that's still going ahead now. Which are you gonna go if it is? Oh yeah, probably. Take I'll, Rory or something. Yeah, yeah go, go someone. Yeah, take someone to go get pissed. Young Henry's are shouting in the bar from five till six for the VIP people. How good's that? Fuck. So I was like, oh yeah, I can do a number on myself then. Yeah. Um, nice. Otherwise, we got Sunnybank. Unsure if they'll. I think I might be playing fifth grade again off the bench. Um, but we've got the Black Dogs at West <coughs> on Friday night as well, which will be a very tough match. Fuck. It's big fat friendly Dars. Yes. Um, I don't know. Try and call me out this time for not playing. I'm I'm gonna play. Yeah. Yeah. Deal with it. I saw he got called out actually on Pillar to Post for not playing. He pulled out the morning of a few weeks mm. ago. So I don't know, maybe if he had some real ticket. I wonder if, pull if out. footy will go ahead this weekend. Oh, like yeah. I'm talking all like NRL and stuff as well. Yeah, I don't know. Because Sydney's in they're fucked. Yeah. Good. See they've moved the fucking Wallabies test match. Yeah, is um, it Brisbane or Gold Coast? So the first one now is at I think, yeah, on the 7th of July, it's mm. at Suncorp on a Wednesday. Oh. Whereas originally it was going to be a Saturday Weekend. game. Yeah. Mm. And the Wednesday one was at fucking mm. Sydney, but now it's just oh. a stitch up. Gutted. So that'll be what next Wednesday? Week, that'll be a week. <laughs> yeah. Away. Must be. Yeah. Nice. Um, fuck, hopefully we do all right. Didn't get tickets to the Wallabies this year. Have yeah, got you'll tickets get one, to you'll the get Wallabies the last few years. The Not last wall- <laughs> last Wallabies match I went to was um it was actually a funny day. I went with Herdy and his family and it was um the Wallabies versus Italy when we almost lost. Oh. And what they did was they oh. hadn't sold enough tickets, so then Australian rugby made um all the Queensland domestic games in Prem grade change from the Saturday to the Sunday. Because they were worried that they'd get more people at like a Jeeps versus North game or something. Then at the Wallabies. Then at the Wallabies. So they changed all four games that weekend to the Sunday. So that there was no excuse. To, and Not like to Reserve Grade and Colts 1 or something, they changed them all to the Sunday. So there was oh, shit. no excuse to stick around yep. to watch footy at your local club. Fuck. So that people would go to the Wallabies. <laughs> I was like, Fuck. Last Wallabies game I went to was over... Um, First game they had at that Optus Stadium over at Perth. Oh, hectic. I would have been sick. Just after I got out of lock up for that fucking, <laughs> <laughs> that fucking my last day of work. <laughs> yeah. I had a day off between jobs and I flew over to see my uncle. Yeah. Anyway, we fucking nabbed tickets on the day and they won. Hectic. They beat the All Blacks. Yeah. That would have yeah. been insane. Oh, yeah. Samu Karevi, yeah. Butts and Bowden Barrett. That was sick. Great to see. That was so good. Fuck, you had a day off in between starting jobs. They flew from... So I got, so I got like, I don't know, mum and dad picked me up for like out of the lock up <laughs> at like, I don't know, two in the morning, I can't remember. Yeah. That night I was flying to <laughs> Perth, flying on the red eye <laughs> over to fucking Perth. <laughs> yeah. That was a, that was a rough drive to Brizzy. Yeah. Fuck. I can imagine, mate. After drinking triple rum and hey, cokes. What do you do for the Wallabies, mate? They yeah. Got exactly. And they, they showed up for you, didn't they? They did. They, they showed up for them. That's some. Um, Maybe you should do that all the time. Whenever the Wallabies are about to play. I'll try. Yeah. <laughs> I've tried, mate. <laughs> it's yeah, fucking hell. 
That's awesome. Should we listen to these phone calls? Yeah, let's get the froth one going, baby. Just open my funny I was open, still on Eric Growth Jr. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, he's a sus character. People I haven't thought of in a while. Yeah. Mm, Eric Growth Jr. I just think of that intercept troy scored in Origin. Mm. Oof, gives just me like a fucking The trials last night. Fuck, man. Tuesday. Fuck. Yeah, 10 so 11 p.m. Yeah. on Tuesday. 10 11 p.m. on Tuesday. Hey boys, glad to chat to you again. Um, oh, yeah. I heard something through the grapevine the other day that I thought I'd bring to your attention. I heard that uh, Josh is another person, possibly called Eden, at Vegas. They um they tied the knot. They they you know committed to each other and had a beautiful ceremony and are technically married. <laughs> so I'd just like to bring that up and see what everyone thinks about that. See you boys, as always, give me. Alright, so <laughs> Did you marry Eden in no, Vegas? No, no I kept telling So a few years ago from a, um, At the end of our year of 21st um, Myself and our mate Eden And um, Jackson and another bloke Josh Went over to um, Went over to America And I kept telling Eden's dad Bernie That I'm going to marry your son in Vegas <laughs> Stop it For about four months leading up to it <laughs> And he's like No Josh No, no, no And he was so so against it and i was like bernie we could literally be joined forever like this i'm doing this for us and yeah like we definitely did consider going to do that and then we were like fuck, fuck we'd actually be married then we'd have to get a divorce like it'd be pretty funny it'd be a good yarn but um it would be funny yeah so no nah, we decided against that my uncle got married to his um current wife in uh in vegas, in vegas. yeah and the best part about it was, so this is what my mum's, one of my mum's brothers, good old Uncle John, and um, he's all dressed up nicely. They're doing the photos, and then in one of the photos, he's got a Go Queensland <laughs> <fucking> flag. <laughs> so him and his wife are holding Queensland. a Queensland Maroons Go Queensland. <laughs> they got the pastor in the back. And they're going, oh, <laughs> good. Old and I was like, you know what? That's that's fucking ticker. That I needs to be on the walls up here. Yeah, exactly. Shout out to Pop. Pups concreting. If you guys need some concreting anywhere in uh, Queensland or New South Wales or wherever, not New South he'll, Wales. He'll drive the from enemy. Harvey Bay to wherever. Good man. That's what he said. <laughs> it's a big drive. Yeah. Wednesday at three fifty nine. Yeah, legends, uh, right. um, <laughs> That's just you. Yeah. Uh, Today Wednesday. Uh, we recorded the potty last night for this week. Um, yeah, so I didn't get it. I wouldn't have had a chance to say this, and I'm probably going to forget. But um, <laughs> weird work experience today. It was laying a bit of pipe for pleasure, because um, that's all we do. And uh, we're fixing a bit of 150 mil down pipe. And um, I don't know, it's probably two, 300 mil underground. Anyway, I've got the broken pipe up, and then I've just sort of lifted it and tilted it, and a fucking pigeon flew out. <laughs> so, um,. We don't know how, but somehow a pigeon's gone down and got into our pipe. And it was, it just sort of reminded me of Lemming Links from, um, from good old South Park. So, uh, <laughs> very glad it was still alive. It looked very malnourished and skinny. Um, but yeah, just want to know your fellas' thoughts on what are some of the weirdest work experiences that you've had? Oh, um, no. A pigeon flying yes. out of a, a bit of pipe underground is pretty fucking scat. So I'd, I'd love <laughs> to know if the boys can uh, can beat that. Anyway, Guru, yeah. give them heaps. And uh, Dan from Dolby, I know you're on this week. Um, if you're not awkward, but uh, if you're not, uh, yeah, you probably are. Um, uh. I don't know. Fuck you, good-looking cunt. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Didn't we talk about weird shit at work last week? Oh, um, no. The thing we spoke about last week was... Weird first day. On your first day, but... Yeah, so... I can move Basically, yeah. it, was, it was fucked, man. So, um... We're doing all the we're doing all like our uh, wastage points before the concrete slabs poured at work at the moment um, at this Jurac job. Good to hear you dealing in millimeters, eh? Yeah, mate. Oh, I was absolutely rocked when well, I rocked up and they started dealing with, with millimeters. Then. Yeah, it was ridiculous. You got your one fifty mil fucking DN. You Ooh. reek a blue collar now. Yeah, yeah, mate. It's, it's it's in me blood. <laughs> I think that's fucking body odor. <laughs> yeah, fuck. Oh, oh, I'll oh, get to that. I'll get to. <laughs> <laughs> 
Shall I address that now? Yeah, address that now. <laughs> right, we're driving along. Clutzy picks me up and I hop in and I was like, oh, yeah. Now nah, it smells like a fucking first year mature age apprentice's car. <laughs> and he's like, yeah, fuck yeah, he's laughing. And anyway, we were at the traffic lights and I was... Just looking around, I've looked down. <laughs> Here's these two fucking flippers. Josh, boots <laughs> off. And I was like, no. <laughs> so I get the phone out. I'm like, oh. <laughs> Fucking dank. Yeah, yeah fuck. the car. Oh, Your well, pool car. That happens, eh? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Have yeah, you heard so that? Bamboo <laughs> socks aren't working, mate. <laughs> no, they're not. Oh, they're getting a bit moist. Fuck. Clutchy yes. struggles when it rains because he has to put the window. He can't drive with his windows up because he can't see out of them. So when it rains, he has to drive with the rain coming in. <laughs> Oh, no, I saw it can now, but yeah, mum got, rid of, mum got yeah, rid of some of that. that right. yeah. oh. um, but yeah, but yeah, it was, yeah, thanks, mum. <laughs> thanks, mum. Oh. Oh, but yeah, it was fucked. It's literally. <laughs> so we're repairing all this pipe because the bloke's um, digging the holes for the um, for the board piers and stuff for, like, for the building. They just kept breaking all our pipe. Can't. Yeah, ridiculous. Oh, well. Um, well I'll fucking get you. Um <laughs> Yeah, and this, this bloke, he, he's, oh, yeah, so he's ripped up this 150 pipe. My boss is digging along next to it. This is what I find fucked is that we didn't kill the pigeon because we didn't know it was in there, first of all. And he's digging along the side of where the pipe is. And then the fucking excavator bucket has gone down and like pressed on the pipe a couple of times. I was like, oh, you fucking settle down. We don't want to, we don't want to have to repair more. And then I've picked up this pipe. And I was like, oh, yeah, it feels a bit heavy. It's a bit of dirt. Tipped it. The dirt's poured out. And the fucking pigeon just goes. <laughs> you know you know when you're staring straight ahead, like straight ahead, and in your peripherals, you can see a bird flying toward, like you can see. Yeah. You can see a pigeon fresh out of conjure. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We see me and my boss, we just look at, what was, is that a fucking pigeon? I was like, that was a fucking pigeon. It flew out of the pipe. But he's like. <laughs> we, we just, just crying with laughter oh. about like how fucked it was and he's like oh, i was squashing that pipe so much like fuck oh. maybe i squashed the pigeon but like, well, clearly sleep. not and then the he's site manager good. he's just like what's going on is there more broken pipe we're like no a fucking pigeon just flew out and he's like what a pigeon and it, like, it just went around the work site like, and you drink drinking water yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, 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 no. <laughs> always did you always did it's all good but yeah it was just fucked like this poor thing yeah just cause you got your your riser coming out and this thing's yep. probably just fucking chilling on the side actually another weird thing <laughs> um when you're putting all the the duct tape on top of the of your risers so people don't chuck shit down there or whatever um been going back to uh, go over some of them uh over the last couple of days it's at least like native bees they're like obsessed with duct tape. So I went to like tape something up today and there was literally, I reckon, 50 native bees just Hefty. hanging off this fucking bit of duct tape. And I was like, well, get out of there because if you don't in two seconds, see oh. you later, you become a part of the structure. You will. Yeah. But um, yeah, so no, that was weird. Have you guys ever had anything like weird or what's your weirdest? Yeah. I reckon you no. definitely would have. Yeah, definitely. So in the old days, oh, well, still a sparky, but working for ergon now but when mm. i was contracting with the last mob and that like domestic and all that stuff mm. anyway i would have been a second year and i was uh working with an uh, old mate of mine tradie brian he's an absolute weapon funny bloke legend mm. anyway we're putting in a uh, ceiling fan at this joint in dolby anyway we're at this uh house and i actually went to school with the sheila anyway we've pushed the bed out of the way mm. it's in the center of the room and you're trying to get your four foot ladder in there Anyway, it's a fucking used surfboard. Big used <laughs> pad. <laughs> Big blood stains all over it. Fuck. And I was like, that's fucked up. <laughs> that is so right. And Brian, under this the bed. Wep- yeah, under the bed. Fuck. Like, centre of the bed. Because <laughs> we pushed the frame away and he's just... <laughs> <laughs> just looking at you. <laughs> back at you. Yeah. And Brian's like fucking picked it up and he's tried throwing it at me. <laughs> Oh. Jump through a fucking five row wall. <laughs> oh, that's fuck that's it. probably the most that. ranked thing I'm saying. Yeah, fuck that. I think I told all my weird stories. Yeah, last week I don't really have nothing that weird. Definitely yeah, nothing that no, weird. That no, was fucking. That was something else. On to the next one. Oh. Thursday, <laughs> four o three Thursday. 
Oh, I get cross-eyed every time I do this. Hey, Das, uh, and Klutz. It's, uh, it's Bootstrap. Bootstrap Drew, um, Boys, just letting you know, uh, you got to be down in Brisbane this weekend. Um, if you want to catch up for a shandy somewhere along the lines, we've got a bit of free time there. So, yeah, let us know. Keen to catch up. Um, spin a few yarns, have a few Bootstraps. So, all right, boys, uh, hit me up. Uh, bootstraps and kick on forever. <laughs> That's a shame because that was the weekend just gone. Yeah, and we don't actually listen to these until no. after the weekend. So. Yeah. First Drive Dribble did message us. That's awkward um, for me. Yeah. <laughs> um, he did message us, but I uh, was going to try and have a beer with him on Sunday, but I was in no state. Did, did he only do one this week? Uh, yeah, I think so. Oh, fuck. Why? I was just hoping for more. I love it. Oh, okay. Uh, Hamish? Andy, congratulations on the big penis. Happy birthday. <laughs> um, just want to call you guys and talk about GPS Rugby on a Saturday night. Real good vibes. And we're just looking yeah. around and we're thinking, Where's Clark? where the fuck is Joshua Clodderbuck? I confer that statement. I agree. Yeah, he... Um, you know, he's asking me, where is he? And I'm thinking the same thing. Just want to ask, where is Clutterbuck? <laughs> Thank you. Where was Clutterbuck? It was actually at my friend's birthday for a bit, Sammy. Yeah. And I told the boys that, unfortunately, I got my weekends mixed up and uh, I didn't want to dog my mate. So I went fair to enough. his. Yeah. It's fair enough. I was supposed yeah. to go to that too, but I had a 60th on. Mm. And then... um. Yeah, I was still trying not to cry from footy, so went home not long after. <coughs> yeah, so I don't know who that was, but um, there's your fucking answer, so go fuck yourself. <laughs> I, like the, I like the Hamish Nandy reference. Yeah, Thanks for say. that. 1.56am on this morning, or yesterday morning, so. Oh, God. The load time. I wonder if they were still at Jeeps. They were there for a long time. How's it going, boys? Just thought I'd give you a call, a bit of appreciation call. Love your work. Thank you. Uh, for your new beer, you just always let me know that you got my support. If you can bring it out, let us know. We'll um, yeah. definitely uh, buy a case or two. Just thought I'd uh, yeah, let you know. You're doing great work and keep it up. Cheer up. Fucking oh, fucking thank listen. you for that. I was, yeah. I was waiting for the punchline there. <laughs> no, no, well, the punchline it's is lovely. he's some piss. So, um, yeah. as we mentioned last week, we've been in uh, in chats with good old Revel Brewing Co. about doing a little bit of a, a cheeky sour, possibly. So, um, talks are still in the works. And yeah. um, I was supposed to email him yesterday. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah, we just need to... Sorry, Jacob Honky again. Uh, second yeah. time. <laughs> um, just for that reference, one of the boys from footy, hadn't seen him in a couple of weeks. And um, he told me I need to stop burping on the podcast. Uh, I don't know. Short answer, no. Sorry, I'm enjoying beer. That's what <laughs> happens when you drink beer. Um, maybe if you are that concerned, maybe you should have concern for your teammates. Stop punching people and getting red cards. <laughs> um, it affects the team. They still won because the other guy got red carded. But um, maybe you should worry about that more than my uh, my manners on a fucking podcast that no one listens to. So, <laughs> Jacob Honky, um, thank you for that. And uh, don't punch me now. <laughs> We are walking through the park right now. There's so many so many people. It's a bit, it's a bit hard. It's a bit hard. I told everyone to um, say good day to the Any podcast, day? but uh, they didn't quite want to. Yeah. You are seeing the How you going? Good morning. Beautiful dog, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> it's 9.02 a.m. Don't do that, dog. All right. Hey, come in the fucking. Yeah, oi, what's your podcast called? Fucking Shikast? Shikast? Oi, Shikast, you're fucking. You're. Yeah, we're going to fucking. Look, mate, you got more issues if you're trying to throw a chat at 902 a.m. in the morning like that. Go to the next round. That was a double. We'll see what else I have to say. We got time for a piss break or what? Yeah. Yeah. Dude, I fucking love you, Gus, cunt. We, uh, yeah, nah, we, uh, we're out here fucking walking. We're in a fucking KC right now. It's 9 a.m. Hey, it might be a bit, it might be a bit early. We're yeah. in. Wouldn't we're have been open. I was going to say. What are we on? We're 
Bring on the fucking guys down. Bring on the guys down, but don't bother to tell me. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. Who am I, who am I fucking doing? Yeah, that's some dribbles. Yeah, if you need to go for a piss, go for a piss. Yeah. We'll wait for the next one. We'll play some quiet music in the mix. Some quiet music. Fuck yeah. Welcome back. Cheers. Last one. 12.06. This morning. This afternoon. Uh, you know, gentlemen, the Bundy dribbler here. Fuck yeah. Fucking milk under his friend. <laughs> Apologies, Darcy, for the post production podcast editing <laughs> of Milk Hunter. And I'll refer to him from now on as Milk Hunter, as Clutchy <laughs> would say, or did say, if you know what I'm saying. I'm sitting here with a, um, a vodka orange juice in my hand at the Royal Exchange after, after the defeat of the fucking. Queensland Maroons, it's all good. Any New South Wales listener, clean the mould off the plant, off the fucking shield, please. That um, eight years in the case was a very long time for that to sit. Make sure you get a fucking cobweb duster on that too. It's going to take more than one year to write that off, I can tell you now. And if Cam Munster doesn't show up to game one or two, how's he going to show up to podcast fucking 100? <laughs> The Mills Hunter has polished off a packet of JPS Reds and he is in bed alone. No milk tonight. But it's right, you live and you learn. The whole old snack pack did not come back up tonight because he he fucking sent it at the Jeep's fucking uh, little Sandy, he was a French, but apologies Darcy for that um, post production shit. It's alright, <laughs> Mill Hunter is a living legend. JPS Blues, get him on, I'll stand by him if you need me to um, reiterate any stories that he's a pussy and does not want his name out there. Uh, I'm going to continue to hang up. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to say, Milf Hunter came up to me on Saturday. First time after, uh, so Milf Hunter's a Jeep buyer. Good man. And um, came up to me on Saturday before we went on. And he's like, I just want to clear something yeah, up. Yeah, I was going to say, he sent a message through as well. Yeah, he's... Oh, what's the message? I was hungry. I'll never say no to a free thing. <laughs> oh, well, he cleared something else up with me. So, I don't know if you heard last week, but Milf Hunter um, was with this hot-ass chick who was completely out of his league. She shouted him a feed, which was a kebab and a HSP. He had that, went vomited. home with her, vomited on himself. Yeah, I did. Yep. Yeah, yes. <laughs> and then the Bundy dribbler has said that he didn't, Get a root. I would like to say... He did. He did. <laughs> he went back and showered himself at her place and then got the root. <laughs> but he told me the reason why... Really? The, the reason why he didn't say that is because um, the chick that he went home with is the Bundy Dribbler's manager. <laughs> So he, I don't know, Bundy Dribbler, you might be finding out some new information right now, but, um, Milf Hunter Hunter the Mill! <laughs> Game well, set match, let's go, man. baby! Yeah, well yeah. and, um, yeah, proud of him, proud of him as always. Very proud of the Milf Hunter. Milf yeah. Hunter is, um, my MVP of, um, the podcast so far. Podcast so far, and also, I can't say he's a new addition to Jeeps because he did play uh, a few years back, but he had a bit of a hiatus um, going on a pilgrimage around the world um, to become the Milf Hunter, basically. Okay, yeah, found himself. Yeah, yeah he found himself. Yeah. So found he's the, now, found he's the now MILF. And, yeah. and he's come to Jeeps, and he, he's my MVP for party year at Jeeps this year. Yeah, right. So, um, Milf Hunter, I've got big, rap, big raps on Milf Hunter. Uh, myself and Snooze see a lot of potential in him, actually, and we're going to try and groom him um, a little bit. So, uh, <laughs> full credit to the boys, and uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see you at um, uh, every piss up. Yep. I'll, I'll be at the next one. <laughs> except, yeah, every piss up except for last week. Yeah. Uh, anything else we want to cover off before we go? Um, congratulations. I'm pretty sure East Tigers, who are uh, six from six, can't even make Premier Grade finals this year. So, um, Ooh. take from that what you will. And uh, congratulations. <laughs> it's a bit harder in an actual season, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> and, yeah. <laughs> um, I was asking Claudia this afternoon, my partner. I was like, "Oh, what should I? What can I lie about? What can I tell a lie?" Mm. She's like, "Tell them that you've had COVID." And I was, like, "That's a bit fucking dark." Yeah. What if I got it on now? the eve of lockdown? I was like, yeah, I was like, "Is she a nurse as well?" Yeah, I was like, <laughs> "You're in the health system." <laughs> Fuck me. Oh. Touch wood, mate. I was, I, I was saying like, 
when we we're at LA and someone's like, oh yeah, master manager at the game. I was like, bullshit. Mm. They bought that in like an hour before kickoff. They're obviously freaking out about something. I was Fuck, like, they would have spent some money on masks. We're all fucked. Mm. They had 56,000 people check in at some club last night. And if I reckon if one person had COVID, there'll be hundreds and hundreds of cases. Yeah. They could have had 56,001 if um, Cameron Munster, who'll be on the podcast in the episode, 100th episode, decided to check in as well. Yeah. Fucking Munster. I'd just like to shout out um, Ben Hunt, <laughs> sponsor of this week's yeah, podcast. Yeah, well, didn't uh, he? Awesome. Put him in. Played awesome. Played very well. Put him in at seven. Seven? I like his... Fuck yeah. Did you I see like how his... he controlled that game? Yeah, he went yeah, to first yeah, receiver yeah. every single fucking time. But they're going to have to drop the captain to put him in at seven. Oh, uh-huh. I'd fucking do that. Yeah. It's, it's Daly's last game of origin... If he gets picked again, you reckon? Yeah, Fuck. he's lost. He's lost three steps. Yeah, writing's on the wall. Mm, yeah, Harry Grant comes back. Hunt to seven, Ponga to one, Val on the wing. <laughs> what about Reese like, Walsh? Oh, I, I probably, you probably would blood him through the dead rubber. Get him in there. Mm. Mm. Ticker. Anyway. Let's get the yeah. fuck out of here. Yeah, know. fuck yeah. Well done. Thanks for coming, mate. Yeah, thanks, mate. Oh, have a lovely trip back me. to Dolby. Yeah. It's going to be sad to see you go. It's been lovely having you. It has He's been, been uh, rocking up to every G's game, basically. Every Friday night game. Down from Dolby. Yeah, I've been going on the Friday ones. Yeah, they're good. Oh, it's good yeah. viewing. I still have to come to one. Sort of. Running a bit of water. Man. Yeah, mate. Yeah. Just and then getting involved. Running the touch... <laughs> UQ that I got sprayed <laughs> yeah, by yeah. Oh, yeah. actually yeah fuck so you that there was no UQ. touchy and we've kicked off no they've kicked off well, uh, no we kicked off and that's it, right. it bounced it clearly bounced inside the field of play great kick off yeah. just bounced in and they're trying to say that it out on the fall went out on the fall there wasn't a touchy yeah on that side and one of them just started <clears throat> Dan was like oh yeah sorry I'm, I'm touchy that was clearly in like yeah we're all good I don't know what he said, but he just fucking went off on you. No, it was plays later. It was like yeah. five minutes later because it was just before a scrum. Mm. And then he's like, and fucking ass the touch you. <laughs> yeah. He just started tearing off at me. Yeah. <laughs> and, fucking, and I think your friend, he told him to get fucked or something. Yeah, but yeah. Easy, mate. Yeah. I was just like, fuck. Relax. Hell. Fucking nerd. That was the teapot cut. That Geek. Perko bloke. I don't know. Perko probably never listened to this. I don't know if there's anyone from UQ, but if you know Perko, tell him to fuck off. What a weird bloke. St. We Lucia like was actually almost on the fucking... Yeah, St. Yeah. Lucia was almost suburb. The suburb. Maybe next week. Yeah, could be. Next week, fuck. All right. Thanks very much for having yeah. me, boys. Thanks, mate. Oh, thanks, mate. Give them heaps pleasure. and uh, up the Wheatman. Yeah, yeah. yeah. fucking oath. Up the Wheatman. Mm. Fucking oath. Up the fucking Wheatman. Hope Ladies Day goes ahead. Yeah, yeah. bloody oath. Fucking oath. Because there'll be a lot of very And um, if, if my things. girlfriend is listening, take it easy this year, please. <laughs> <laughs> Try and keep, keep yourself off the yeah, floor. Fucking old cool. No jokes. Love you, baby. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to get KFC. Yeah, oh, right. Boy. Fuck. Cheers.